MikeBrainbergCombat.com. I want to give this a little exercise to illustrate the importance of why you should learn point shooting. What I want you to do is, doesn't matter where you are, your office or home, pick out an object on the wall, a light switch, maybe a picture on the wall, or even just a doorknob. What I want you to do is I want you to focus on that object and then point at it with your finger. Point right at it. Keep that object in focus you can, so it's clear. Now, shift your focus to your fingernail so that your fingernail is in focus. Anybody see two doorknobs or two light switches? It's at least really blurry. Here's the thing. In shootings, although it may be dark and hard to see that bad guy, you can see him. The bad guy's clear. The bad guy's always clear. The bad guy's always in focus. Even though it's dark and may be hard to see, he's in focus. He's not blurry. And I've never had, uh, talking over 300 police officers that have been involved in the shooting, I never once had anybody tell me that they saw two of the same bad guy. It just doesn't happen. That's because it's physically impossible to focus on two different objects at two different distances at the same time. The human eye can't do it. It's physically impossible to do. So either the bad guy's in focus or your gun is in focus. It can't be both, and it won't be both. It's always the bad guy that's going to be in focus and not your gun. So why are we training people to look at their gun and look at their sights? It makes no sense. You need to learn point shooting and be able to point and have that bad guy in focus and fire. Mike Rayburn, 